Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on how to implement rice fish farming, a farm diversification model that combines rice production with fish farming to optimize resources, increase profitability, and support rural farmers and communities. This sustainable approach provides a symbiotic relationship between rice and fish, benefiting both crops and farmers alike. Let's get started. Getting started rural appraiser and understanding farmer needs. Conduct a comprehensive assessment of the specific challenges and conditions faced by rural farmers engaged in rice production. Determine the types of modifications. Based on the appraisal findings, propose field modifications to enhance productivity and sustainability of rice fields. Here are the types of successful modifications that the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Fish identified in rural Nigeria. Step 1. Square Field Design we design the rice fields by digging along the peripheral corners, the four sides, to form a square shape, taking no more than 10% of the total rice field. Step 2. Create trenches for fish cultivation. Dig sums and trenches along the four corners of the field to create the main fish circulation channel. The depth of these ditches should be approximately 0.6 meters. The placement is critical for success. Step 3. Transplant rice in specific dimensions. Transplant the rice in specific dimensions. Dimension of 20 by 25 centimeters is recommended to optimize the growth and interaction between the rice and fish. Step 4. Stock fish in the trenches. Introduce fish into the trenches. The fish create a mutually beneficial relationship where they consume pests from the rice crops while providing natural fertilization to the rice through their faecal waste. Nature becomes an ally in pest control as the fish swim among the rice plants and forage with their whiskers, knocking pests off the plants. This natural pest control mechanism eliminates the need for chemical interventions, fostering a healthier and more sustainable ecosystem. However, the well-being of the fish is also essential, and depending on the location and conditions, supplemental feeding may be necessary. Farmers can provide on-farm food, such as rice bran formulated feed, or can explore innovative approaches like introducing black soldier fly lava as additional food sources for the fish. Now, let's talk about the availability of fish seed. This refers to the young fish used for stocking the ditches. Nigeria is a world leader in catfish farming, which creates a favorable condition for assessing the required fish seed. This existing culture of farming catfish supports the widespread adoption of the rice fish model, bringing a promising future to farmers and their communities. Step 5. Rice and fish collection and cooking. Harvested fish from this integrated approach boasts high nutritional content making them a desirable choice for both household consumption and market sale. Their appeal extends far and wide, enriching the lives of farmers and consumers alike. But the ingenuity doesn't stop there. Locals' fish smoking kilns have revolutionized fish processing, offering farmers an opportunity to add value to their harvest. These innovative kilns, crafted from inexpensive materials and basic welding techniques, transform the fish into smoked products and food, elevating their market worth and turning them into a higher value commodity. In conclusion, 
the rice fish model offers a unique opportunity for rice farmers to expand their horizons. With simplicity at its core, any farmer can seamlessly integrate fish farming into their existing practices. It's a natural pairing, where rice and fish thrive together in water-based environments. Phosphorine a harmonious relationship that is not only effective but also environmentally friendly. The rice fish model offers hope for rural communities, fostering sustainable agriculture and bolstering food security. By following this step-by-step -step guide, you can successfully implement rice fish farming to diversify your farm, optimize resources, and improve the livelihood of rural farmers and communities. This sustainable approach benefits both rice and fish crops while providing economic advantages and profitability. Happy farming!